I have three spur gears that I want to show you today. This spur gear rides on a bushing, so it slides back and forth on a shaft. And you can see the bushing down inside there, and the little dimples inside there are to hold oil. And then there's a hole in the middle that delivers the oil into that bushing, and that actually connects right through this hole right here, which goes all the way through, and you can see the hole on the other side. Also note, the edge of the gear is squared off. On the other side, you can see two cutouts right here, and this is also for oiling. However, take a close look at the teeth right here. These teeth are pointed. From one side, they're squared off, and the other side, they are pointed. This gives us the ability to engage this with another spur gear that also has points on it. If you compare that to this spur gear, you'll note that it's similar in design where it rides on a shaft that's supported by bushings. It's got the oil grooves on both sides. And this one is square cut on both sides. So this one is a constant mesh gear where it doesn't need to slide and engage with another spur gear. This one is very similar to the first one I showed you. However, look at the splines in the middle right here. This one doesn't slide. This one would fix solidly on a shaft. Once again, we can see the pointed part of the gear. And on the other side, it's not pointed. So this would engage with a sliding idler gear of some kind, and the points would help line that up. This is an example of a sliding idler gear. This uses spur gears to slide in and out of each other. Watch the spur gear on the input shaft very carefully. Notice how it shifts just slightly as the gears engage. That's because the gears are pointed at each end to allow that easy engagement. 